Yo, what is going on, everybody? My name is Connor, but you guys call me Superior, and today I'm coming at you guys with the next installment of Best Class Setups. And in this episode, we're going to be cover covering one of the best assault rifles in the game, and that is the Remington R5. Now, the Remington R5 does a 49 damage at close to medium range, and, um, you know, that is a three-shot, almost a two-shot kill, so that really um, is really above and beyond any other weapon's damage in this game, except for a few of the LMGs. But um, once you get to past 44 meters, the damage drops off quite significantly, and it's going to be about a five-shot kill, which seems like a lot, but comparatively speaking to a lot of the other assault rifles, um, you know, it's pretty average. Now, something that really jumped out at me when I first started using this gun, and that really held it back, was the magazine size. And it only has 24 bullets in the magazine if you don't have extended mags. So in the class setup that you guys see popping up on your screen right now, you'll see that I actually use the three attachment perk. Now, like I just said, um, it has low recoil and a very small magazine. So you definitely don't need to compensate for the recoil, but, um, you know, the magazine size, on the other hand, definitely, you know, there needs to be something done about it. So I throw on the three attachment perk with suppressor, extended mags, and red dot sight. Um, suppressor, just because I throw that on every class, because it helps a lot when you're going for a chem strike to stay off the radar. Uh, extended mags, because it gives you 36 bullets instead of the beginning 24, which isn't that big for extended mags, but it definitely does help out. And then I put on red dot sight. A lot of people say that the Remington R5 has the best iron sights in the game. Me, on the other hand, I think it has one of the worst iron sights in the game, like right next to the MTAR. Um, if you disagree with me and you think it has the best iron sights that's awesome you know you can take off the red dot and you can throw on another you know you don't need that three attachment perk you can throw on another three perks that you pick so you know that's just more power to you but um you know this is the class setup that i use and i recommend so feel free to use it if you like it now one thing i really wanted to focus on in this video is the perk setup now you guys have probably noticed that my perk setups and all my other class setups are very similar you know i have quick draw amplified dead silence and that type of thing but in this one it's changed up a little bit just because it's a different gun you know you need three attachments and um, I'm kind of changing up what perks I use in general so let's jump right into the perks so the first perk I'm gonna be covering is ready up now ready up is pretty much like a worse quick draw it only works right after you're done sprinting so you know you can't really rely on it like you could quick draw but it is still a great perk nonetheless now the next one is stalker stalker helps you move around faster while aiming down sight and that helps a lot with the Remington just because when you are in a long range gun fight and you need that it takes five shots to kill. You need to be able to move around and be able to get those shots on target and, um, you know, dodge their shots. The next one is Amplify. You guys know I love Amplify. It's such a powerful perk. And um, one thing that a subscriber told me the other day is that when you put on Amplify, it quite it makes your own footsteps quieter to you. So you won't be able to hear your footsteps so you don't get it confused with yours and theirs. Now, the next perk I have on is Focus. And you guys know I love Focus. Um, since this gun is so low recoil and it has such a slow rate of fire if you're getting shot at those two things combined if you don't have focus will completely fuck you over so it is almost a necessity when you're using the remington without a grip and the last perk is obviously the three attachments because i wouldn't be able to have the three attachments that i have on without that perk so let's go into the strike package um i run specialist always regardless um, first perk is quick draw just because I don't have it on my normal class and I'm so used to using it that I need it as my first perk. Next I have scavenger because you do run out of ammo pretty fast. You know, since this gun doesn't have that many bullets in it, uh, you know, you don't have that many bullets to kill people with. So you need to, you know, be able to pick up those scavenger packs to get you more ammunition. Next is sleight of hand. It's always nice to reload quickly, um, especially when you don't have that many bullets. And then as far as my specialist bonus goes, I have agility, blind eye, dead silence, and hard line. Now all those things help you keep off the radar, move around faster, and be able to get that chem strike sooner which is exactly what you need when it comes to going for chem strike so that is about it for this video guys i do hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay behind seeing as it was kind of on a little bit unorthodox map um like the video if you guys enjoyed subscribe if you guys are new and have a fantastic day i am out